To frame your gutter stitch project with an edging like this one, add 4 stitches to the number of stitches you cast on, 2 stitches for each side of the fabric. Then in the one row, knit the first stitch, just the usual way, and then keep the yarn at the back of the work as you slip the next stitch pro-wise. That means we insert the tip of the right needle into the stitch from right to left. And then knit all stitches one by one in the classic goddess stitch pattern until you get to the last two stitches of the row. Then we keep the yarn at the back as we slip the next stitch and we knit the last stitch of this row. Turn your work. In the second row of the edging, we would bring the yarn to the front of the work and slip the first stitch purlwise from the left needle to the right needle. And then with the yarn still at the front of the work, we purl the next stitch. Bring the yarn to the back and work in a goddess stitch pattern, knitting stitches until you get to the last two stitches of the row. Then bring the yarn to the front for purling, purl the stitch and keep the yarn at the front as you slip the last stitch from the left needle to the right needle. As we repeat these two rows, we would see that the edges of our project become like chains of stitches that are open stitches on the front side of the work and uh, twisted stitches on the back side which is not back or front because goddess stitch is reversible and so is this edging. But if you'd like to make it fully reversible, then knit stitches through the back loop when you work the first row of the edging. I kind of like to have a slightly different look on two sides. I, I feel that this makes projects more interesting. But again, if you are after fully reversible edging, then knit stitches through the back loop in the first row. Another thing that we notice as we work these rows on and on and on is the logic behind this edging. That is very simple. In one row we knit edge stitches and we slip the stitches next to them with the yarn at the back of the work. In the next row we do kind of the opposite. We slip the edge stitches with the yarn at the front and we purl the stitches next to them. And once you understand this logic, it will be very easy to add this edging to any gutter stitch project without even following any written instructions. If you prefer to keep the side edges of your projects nice and tidy, go to tenroseday.com slash neat side edges to get a copy of the book that explains 12 different edgings two ways to fix dropped edge stitches, a way to improve the edges of a finished project, and the best way to make increases and decreases without messing up the edges of your project. Happy knitting, my friend. I'll talk to you in the next tutorial.